Katie Seagal first rocketed into the American consciousness as the over-the-top wacky Peg Bundy on the hit sitcom Married with Children. But watching that joyous performance, you may have never guessed at her painful past. Here's ABC's Nick Watt. Peg, what is it with you? You can change 6D batteries in the dark, but you can't find a two-ton automobile in broad daylight. <laughs> start talking about who can't find what in the dark. Love and marriage. Love. Katie Segal was the heartbeat of Married with Children for 11 years. I don't shop that much. Mom, the stuff you ordered is here. <laughs> oh, goody. I thought that that's what all wives were like, and oh, that I really? was going to grow up to marry somebody like you. Oh, you did not. I did. Even though she was kind of hot. Well, yeah. I hope that hasn't been your situation, but... A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Your nose hairs look somehow longer. <laughs> they moosed them. Her first lead TV role, she was a rock chick. When they asked me to read for it, and I thought, oh, this is perfect for me because this is so outside the box. We hadn't seen anything so outrageous on television yeah. before. You never bring me flowers. I would if you died. And I really thought, oh, this won't last very long. That character was not supposed to be the way you ended up playing her. No, she was written very slovenly. Ow. Oh, no. My take on her and that relationship between her and Al Bundy was that there had to be something hot between the two of them to sustain this marriage for so many years. You know, I just went into my audition all dolled up. Catch a big one, Al. Oh, I already have paid. <laughs> You would have been surprised how many people would call our customer wanting her clothes. People that wanted to look like her. And, you know, I I mean, it was, it was the 80s. Where is the wig? The wig is in a big plexiglass box. People are always like, do you wear it? I'm like, no, I don't wear it. <laughs> I got you, babe! There is so much more to Katie Segal than Mouthy Peg Bundy, as we discover in her brand new memoir, Grace Notes. I was always thinking of There's that beautiful singing voice, which we've heard on Futurama as Leela. We'll love you. And we will soon hear again and we'll see her in ABC's 30th anniversary Dirty Dancing musical remake. You're in the new Dirty Dancing. And I'm very dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I play Vivian. In the original movie you saw her, she's kind of the lonesome, sexy divorcee. This is our last night together, lover. I've got something worked out for us. And there was the time in her youth when Kiss came to town. There was just this band of boys sitting at the table, and I was their waitress, and I sang them a song, and, you know, one thing led to another, and I started this romance with Jean. And, um, You say that very nonchalantly. Well... <laughs> <laughs> um, it's so long ago. Seagal's first love was music. Backing singer for Bette Midler. I was a harlot. I worked with her on and off for about five years. Oh, really? I traveled all over the world with her. I heard that Bob Dylan fired you. Yeah, he fired me. Why? He fired all the singers. I was so intimidated by him that I knew I was singing the wrong parts. <laughs> but I would never say anything. I remember the days of these skirts. <laughs> <laughs> I do, too. <laughs> this is what I wanted to do when I grew right. up. And this is... This is still in there. This is still who she is, me, me. Her parents were showbiz people, her mum a screenwriter, her dad a director. Both of your parents died when you were relatively young. My mother had been ill for a good part of my life. It wasn't quite as big a shock as my father, who I had literally spoken to the day before, and then he was, um, he was, he died on a television set. He was actually killed in a helicopter accident. One of the reasons I wanted to say some of this in the book, is that my way of dealing things in the moment was to very much check out, was to kind of anesthetize myself, numb myself. And it wasn't until I changed my lifestyle that I felt the full impact of those things. Seagal first took diet pills prescribed by a doctor, aged 14, learned, she says, that if you feel bad, pop a pill. 15 years of booze and happy pills, she says, became a problem. I had a drug and alcohol problem that lasted through my 20s. Until a chance meeting on a TV set. I met a person on a job that was uh, sober, and she talked to me about it. Suddenly, out of nowhere, popped up a lot of people that were living a life um, clean and sober. And 
I, I didn't really know about that. You've been clean for 30 years? Yeah. I mean, that's a massive achievement. It's massive, I know. <laughs> it really is. One day at a time. Still? I, I, I still. What I've learned is that I can do anything for 24 hours. Recently, of course, there's the bastard executioner and sons of anarchy. You looked me in the eye and you promised me you wouldn't hurt Tara. She'd been Golden Globe nominated for Peg Bundy. She won for Gemma Morrow in Sons of Anarchy. She'd probably be dead if Jax wasn't with her. A role created by her husband, Kurt Sutter. To my husband, I love you. I'm so glad you're the boss of me. He was the EP. She was a star. I think at a certain point, we just stopped talking about work at home, and we just dealt with our three children. Had she taken early advice, this all might never have happened. You'd been told that yeah. you were not a TV person. Yeah. I met a casting director that I'll never forget said to me, you will never work in television. Why? This was in the days of Dynasty and Dallas. This is when everybody on television looked extremely glamorous. You know, I was a musician. I was in bands. See, I wore a lot of black makeup and black clothes. Years later, when my struggling music career was just not going full steam ahead, I said yes to being in a rock musical. That led to a role on Mary. This was the result of a column I wrote entitled, Boy, Would I Like a New Sweater? With Mary Tyler Moore. Then came married with children. Some sex tonight, Peg? For 11 years, the secret sauce, chemistry. No, thanks. With Ed O'Neill. We loved each other, I'd say instantly. He's such an everyman, down-to-earth guy, and he's a, such a guy guy. Nothing like a frozen margarita in a hot tub. O'Neill now, of course, playing a slightly similar role on Modern Family. He has a hot wife again. <laughs> I just had to throw that in. Seagal still acting and still making music. Then I know that you're mourning. This summer touring the L.A. area with the band The Reluctant Apostles. Well, we want to do it in a comfortable way. <laughs> <laughs> We're not getting in a van. <laughs> and now a slightly reluctant author. So this was a kind of book by accident? I had written pieces just writing about my life that with the intention of giving it to my children at some point. I'm pretty private, actually, but uh, apparently not anymore. <laughs> it's Peg Bundy behind the curtain, warts and all, but don't hold your breath for a revival. It seems to be that all these shows are coming back in one form or another. I don't think this one will. That's OK. We all have married with children memories. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline in Los Angeles.